We are back at 847. Judge Judy Scheinlin needs no introduction. She's back at it, handing down judgments in her signature way as her popular show begins its 18th season. Take a look. So far, is all of that correct? That is correct, but just, you're Just don't give me a butt. You don't have a counterclaim, do you? And so far, you're not losing, so why don't you keep your mouth shut? Yes, ma'am. And as if she wasn't busy enough, <laughs> Judge Judy's out with a new book, What Would Judy Say? A Grown-Up Guide to Living Together with Benefits. This sounds interesting. Judge Judy, good morning. It's good, good to morning. see you. Good morning. Thank you. 18 seasons. Can oh, you be would I believe that? Has it just flown by? It has just flown by. And, you know, when you can memorialize 18 years, and I look at the bad hair day and the good <laughs> hair day, and you look back at 18 years and you say to yourself, you know, that's a lifetime. It's really, our crew, who, you know, usually leave shows after a year or two, things come and go and they ebb and they flow. I've seen babies born, graduating from high school, <laughs> you know, kids getting married, kids retiring and getting Social Security. It's, it's amazing. Yes, it's the full circle of life on it the is. Judge Judy it's Show. So. I was curious, 18 years ago, were the litigants that came into your courtroom different, the same? How have things changed in terms of human behavior and the people coming before you? Uh, I don't know if behavior has changed. Certainly the look has changed. The dress has changed. The piercings have changed. The <laughs> tattoos have changed. What draws people, draws people in has changed. Uh, you know, I don't think 20 years ago you would come to court with jeans with holes in them or shorts and flip-flops. I think that society has sort of softened up over the last 18 years, but the problems remain the same. You know, uh, they celebrated your 18 years with a flash mob. I think we can show some video of it. This is your crew and some of the people you work with, all dressed in Judge Judy regalia. Don't look for me. It's the not... road, well, that's what I was going to... I, I did look very closely, and I did not see you. Care to explain? They didn't invite me. I actually would have enjoyed it. <laughs> well, there they are, their, their, their trademark Judge Judy robes. Have you tried to evolve the show? I mean, what, or is it basically why mess with what isn't broken? Well, every year somebody says to me, what's going to change this year? What, and I listen to every other program, trying to add something fresh and to keep it alive. There's nothing else I can do. And why would you, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It seems to be doing fine, and I think we just continue doing what we're doing. Well, you've got a long-running show. You've got an even longer-running marriage. What's the secret? You're giving some advice in your new book. What's your, your secret to couples? I don't have a secret, actually. I think if you're lucky enough to have that thing that you can't quite put your finger on, I like to call it a mojo. <laughs> if you have that good feeling, you can tolerate all the bad stuff. You know, you realize that you're better off as a couple than you are as a single. You've got a lot of kids. You've got 12 grandkids. And I understand you officiated at your grandson's wedding. Oh, did that make me feel ancient? Yes. First grandson uh, got married a uh, week and a half ago, well, actually two weeks ago, at our home in Connecticut and asked us to officiate at the wedding. So it was a real kick. We had married all of our children, officiated at the wedding mm -hmm. for all of our children, and this was the first grandchild. Oh, my goodness. I, because you talk about 18 years. I remember the moment when mm -hmm. he was born. I remember the moment that he was wheeled in front of us at the hospital, looking at him and saying to myself, my God, how could you be a grandmother? Oh, well, it's amazing. And I'm sure he, he didn't wear any cut up jeans and tattoos, right, in your court? Oh, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't and he doesn't. Oh, Judge Has Judy. a scruff a little bit occasionally. It's in style. It's a style. Judge Judy, it is great to see you. Congratulations on season 18. Savannah, thanks. It was lovely to see you this morning. You too. Coming up, actress Paula Patton is back in our 9 o'clock hour. But first, this is Today on NBC.